this video, we're gonna show you how to make an Alexander three ways. Let's go. Hey there, welcome back to Mixology Flared. If this is your first time here, my name is Shay, one of the principal bartenders here at Mixology Flared. Today we're gonna to talk about an amazing cocktail. It's called an Alexander. So we're gonna give you three variations of one drink. So the Alexander, it's a gin cocktail. So we're gonna start with a mixing glass just like this one, a little bit of flair. A dry gin, not an American gin, you want a London dry gin. This cocktail is really easy to make. It's only an ounce and a half of your gin. Your white creme de cacao, creme de cacao, creme de chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Ounce. And an ounce of honey. That's it. Now give me the beat. Ice in that. Make sure that that is really sealed. You don't want to shake this and have it explode and go all over your face. Classic. Pour it all the way to the rim because if you want to put on a decoration you're going to need just a little bit less than the rim so you stick on a decoration like one of these ones and then where the garnish is nothing okay your classic alexander one and a half ounce gin one ounce creme de cacao and one ounce of cream and our next cocktail is the Brandy Alexander. Start with a new mixing glass. Brandy, instead of gin, ounce and a half. You can get this brandy at any local grocery store. Okay, one variation from the classic Alexander and the Brandy Alexander is instead of a white creme de cacao, we're gonna do a dark creme de cacao. Typically, if a drink, if the main spirit is a white spirit, like a rum or a gin or a vodka, you don't wanna dis, you know, discolor the cocktail using a, a dark liqueur, you go with a white liqueur. But since the brandy is already dark, we can go with the dark creme de cacao, and it's gonna taste just the same. And this one we get to have fun. It's still, still the same, one ounce. but dark creme de cacao. Now, last ingredient is an ounce of cream. Beautiful, beautiful color. Ice. Now, also, same, you don't want to mess up the seal. Make sure it's tight. You don't want to explode on you. You gotta really give it a good hard shake. You want to shake it just hard enough so when you pour it out, it actually has a really thick froth right on top of the drink. Drink number two, your Brandy Alexander. And the final drink of the Alexander Trilogy is the Blackberry Alexander. I think you'll love it, you should try it. Let's start with a fresh pineapple. Your Brandy or Cognac, ounce and a half. Half ounce of blackberry red. Yeah. 
seal it. Make sure it's tight. Take it out. I think we're missing one ingredient. I think I've had a t uh, too many of these Black Ray Randys tonight. One ounce cream. This has a little bit more of a purple hue, and that's due to the blackberry brandy liqueur. Now you're gonna to want to garnish this one with a blackberry and a sprig of mint. There you have it, the final cocktail of the Alexander Trilogy, the Blackberry Alexander. So out of all of these beautiful cocktails, the Blackberry Alexander, the Brandy Alexander, and the Gin Original Alexander. You have to choose. Now there's a dozen recipes on the internet or in plenty of books like this one, Craft of the Cocktail by Dale DeGroff. Even, even Dale says that the original Alexander is equal parts, one ounce, one ounce, one ounce. And over time, the drink has actually evolved to have a little bit more, more bite, a little bit more of volume and straight spirit. So it's gonna be a little bit more boozy. You decide. So, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. The link is right up here or right down here below. See you next time. Cheers. Hey guys, we're back. And right, cut. Now I'm nervous because the Instagram Live is on. Take Gee. two. Test, test. One, two, three, <coughs> recording. Okay. Fucking actors, right? So and let's action. Live. Hey guys, we're back. And I'm gonna show you how to make a gin gimlet. <laughs> Away. Well, if you're making your drinks with honey, you might find yourself skipping a few appointments. That's why in this video, I'm going to share with you two popular his and her honey cocktails that you can make with style this weekend. Did you know that there are over 300 different varietals of honey across the United States? And it's different from region to region based on the pollen that the honeybees pick up from different flowers. Did you also know one of the best ways to fight against the common cold <laughs> is to have some local honey in your diet? I really can't think of a better way to make that happen than to have some honey cocktails. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna share with you the two most popular honey cocktails requested today. The Whiskey Gold Rush and the Gin Bee's Knees. And they're both very similar, so you can see that you can interchange the ingredients if you have a more masculine crowd or a more feminine crowd. Crowd. Let's start with the Whiskey Gold Rush. Two ounces, your favorite bourbon. You can grab some fresh raw honey like this. But to be completely honest, this is gonna be a little bit messy. You wanna dilute this honey down, put a little water in it. So we made a solution. It's basically two to one, two parts honey to one part water. Really, it's just to make it pour easy and not stick. You can already see that it's very thick even coming out of the pour spout. Sometimes you just gotta take the pour spout off. Some fresh lemon juice. Same as the honey. Three quarter ounce. Now we need some ice. Now if you're at home, your refrigerator ice is just fine. 
While I'm shaking this cocktail, if you wanna go right down there and hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. That's enough. Simple, three ingredient cocktail. Lemon, honey, whiskey, that's it. Grab some big ice cubes for your cocktail. For this one, I'm just gonna give it a nice lemon peel right over the top. There you go, Whiskey Gold Rush. And for your partner, the bee's knees. You can do it on the rocks or you can serve it up. If you have somebody that doesn't really like whiskey, that's why we're gonna do this with the Aviation Gin. Two ounces. Three quarter ounces of fresh lemon juice. And if you wanna pre-make your honey syrup, do it in a nice bottle like this and save it for a week. Three quarter ounce fresh honey syrup. Get some hand cracked ice. Make it a mess. Make sure that's really sealed and shake that really hard. Did you hit that subscribe button? Right now, hit it. Your whiskey gold rush and your gin bees knees made with aviation gin. Very interchangeable, three easy ingredients. Gin, lemon, honey, whiskey, lemon, honey. Why do you keep doing that? All right guys, that's it for these cocktails. If you wanna see some more delicious whiskey cocktails, hit this playlist right here. If you want some more honey cocktails to stay healthy, hit this playlist right down here. We'll see you next time. Cheers. you're not gonna drink it, let me taste it.